Welcome to the 27th episode of Season 12 of Eagle News for Thursday, October 5th, 2017. Happy National Get Funky Day! My name is Sydney. And my name is Ava. Our big headline is about Olin Tangy Model United Nations. It's a new district-wide club being implanted at all middle and high schools for grades 6 through 12. Basically, your child will form a group of 4 to 6 friends, choose a, pro choose a country to research, and find a central problem, and then come up with an efficient and innovative way to solve it. Once all done writing the resolution, your child will present it at our summit in February and fellow nations will debate over whether or not the idea was up to snuff or if it's quite what the world needs. But don't worry, if it doesn't pass, you can prove your cultural prowess in the talent show or dance away your cares at the celebration. If that's not your thing, however, you can participate in contests too. So if this sounds like the perfect spectacular Consider joining Olin Tangy Model United Nations this year. Our next meeting will be October 6th in the Commons after school. We will have more information at the meeting on October 6th this Friday in the Commons at 3.30. If you have any questions, ask us through the Remind. Now, now, here, is no. <laughs> now here is Mr. Benish. I'm Mr. Benish. It is October 5th, and welcome to National Get Funky Day. I'm Thank you, Ava and Sydney. I'm Anthony. And I'm Nathan. And we are your lounge hosts. The standings for trivia are... Pulliam is in first with 25 points. Mayor and Street are in second with 24 points. Holzer and Vols are in third with 23 points. Hey everybody, it's time for trivia. The five point clue is, he is a popular author of children's books and poems. Now let's head back to the studio for today's first video. Ms. Feehan is an amazing sixth grade teacher that is working on her blended learning model in her classroom. Here is her classroom story. Hello, in sixth grade ELA on, on Team 602, we've started, started something new this year. We're doing something new called blended learning. So two days of the week, we actually have stations, and we rotate through those four stations. One's, one's a reading station, one's a writing station, a grammar station, and a first read station. So um, next week, we will be, be uh, looking at how to write a great paragraph, and students are going to do a project uh, titled All About Me. So, um, I'm excited. We've got some really great kids, and um, I'm excited about the blended learning because we use lots of technology. <laughs> wow, Mrs. Feehan's such a nice teacher. Now let's go to the second clue. Here's the four-point clue. He grew up in a family of nine in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now it's time to head to the studio for headlines. Students heading to D.C., there are about 40 kids that still owe money for the D.C. trip. Your parents should have received an email about the money they owe. Picture retakes are going on right now, so look nice. Let's head to the lounge for today's lunch menu. Today's lunch is Mexican Fiesta, Barbecue Ribette, and Pizza Cheese Crunchers. There's a deli to get a sandwich. Don't forget to grab a fruit, vegetable, juice, or milk. Remember that there's breakfast that there's breakfast in the cafe every morning. Back to the studio with more headlines. Eagles, don't forget to check out the Empowering Eagle classes that will be available to take when the next six weeks begin. Check it out on Schoology. And now let's head to the lounge for the three-point clue and trivia. Okay, here's the three-point clue for today. Before becoming an author, he studied to become a... Jesuit priest. Remember to text Mr. Meta. You, you only get, get one, one shot. shot. Oh. A lot of you teachers are already guessing. <laughs> Let's go back to the studio for the next video. We are coming up on an amazing holiday starting soon, and when I think about holidays, I think about desserts. Let's see what kinds, what kids say they like to eat for dessert. Roll it. My name is Lincoln and my favorite dessert is cake. My name is Carter and my favorite dessert is ice cream. Zombie and my favorite dessert is cupcakes. Oh. Hi, my name is Jake and my favorite dessert is ice cream. Hi, my name is Libby and I like cookies. 
My name is Mason and I like deep fried Oreos. Hi, my name is Haley and my favorite dessert are brownies. Hey, my name is Brenda and I like cake. <laughs> my name is Jillian and I like cookies. Hi, my name is Ella and my favorite dessert is ice cream. Hi, my name is Cindy and my favorite dessert is warm cookies. I'm Frau Wilfer and my favorite dessert is pecan pie with a big scoop of uh, vanilla ice cream on top. Oh, my favorite dessert is ice cream. <laughs> this night in sports for highest. The seventh grade high football team cruised to a 38 to nothing win over Orange last night. In volleyball, the seventh grade girls lost in three sets, but the eighth grade girls beat Orange in, in three exciting sets. Tonight, the Red Sox play the Astros in an American League divisional series battle, and the Indians play the Yankees in the other divisional series battle. Good. Tonight, the New England Patriots battle the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in, in Thursday Night Football. Now to the studio for more trivia. Two-point clue for today is his first book was called Mud Puddle. Ooh. And now, weather in the lounge. Mr. Meadows strongly dislikes this summer weather during our fall months, but it's still here with a high of 81 degrees and a low of 60 degrees and mostly cloudy skies. Let's head to the studio for the final clue for trivia and birthdays. Students celebrating birthdays today are... A N L, Luke F, Wesley K, and Philip P. Felipe. Felipe. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Our final clue for one point today is his book Love You Forever has sold over 18 million copies. Make sure you text Mr. Meta. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am Sydney. And I'm Ava. Here's today's fun fact of the day. What city has a population of one? Buford only has one resident. 60-year-old Don Sammons has been all alone in the southern Wyoming town on Interstate 80 since his son moved out over three years ago. Founded in 1866, Buford at only one time hosted a population of 2,000, mostly railroad, railroad workers. Thanks, Anthony and Nathan. We're gonna start picture retakes. I need team 701. If you would like to have your picture retaken, you must have your picture packet. Head to the stage for HR imaging. Also, students and staff, if you have not gotten your picture taken at all this year and you don't want to purchase them, you still need to get your picture taken for the yearbook. Again, right now I need 701 to head to the stage. Thank you. Uh, make sure to get your picture retaken. If you 702, know. Team 702. So the answer to trivia today was Robert Munch, and the winners were? Five points. Was None. None. Four <laughs> points, Miss Falls. Three points, Pulliam, Mayer, and Sloan. Two points, Benish, Meyer, Diekman, and Fly High. And one point, Byard, Buckerfield, Vogue, and Magnley. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I am Anthony. And I am Nathan. Thanks for watching today's Eagle News. Now get those books out and read. Good job, everybody. Bye. Bye. A plus for these newbies. A plus. Bye.